Right, so I welcome you all to an all new episode of Reagent Blues. And uh, first of all, sorry for my look because I am keeping very busy and I do not have time even to wash my face. Right, that is that's how busy I am. And uh, so just don't mind that. Okay, so today we are going to talk about like the title suggests silica gel. Now before we move on to the application or what the silica gel is, I just want to tell you guys. Many of you have asked me whether why should I ask. Uh, why should I watch videos on Reagent Blues? Now the reason is application, because when you go for interviews to good institutes like TIFR, you go to IITs, you go to ICERs, you go for Baba Atomic Research Center. When you go for interviews to in institutes like these, see everybody has got a good grade rank or everybody has got JRF. But then over there, what decides how much you know about the about about the application of that theory? For example, in 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 the in the interviews, you are explaining about coordination chemistry, and the teachers over there in IITs and ICERs. Sometimes you are, if you are lucky, they are lenient, but most of the times they are very rude in interviews. So they will like, okay, why coordination chemistry to understand the application? What is this thing? They will be direct, very rude. Okay, and so then to answer that, you have to know the application. See, that is what the difference is between engineers and and and. Uh, people uh, working in basic sciences engineers are working on applications and whereas uh, people working on basic sciences are working on theoretical on theory right but if you have some knowledge about the application as well that puts you at a greater level than engineers right so then that is that is a big advantage for you now coming on to silica gel so silica gel is is a very is is a compound which is very which has wide variety of applications You might have seen in a lot of uh, food, uh, you know, not in food, but you you might have seen silica packets, a lot of silica packets everywhere, and they would have written in small, teeny tiny, small letters that silica, do not eat, right? You 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 would have seen small packets on which silica would would have been written. So generally, silica is a solid desiccant. A desiccant is a drying agent, right? So if I write this spelling of desiccant, it's a uh, D E S S I C A N T, desiccant. so it is a solid desiccant and uh, so it this desiccant is basically a drying agent it is used to absorb moisture so in 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 conditions or in in, in for example in food when you are, when you are supplying packaged food and in food uh, you have uh, the food is water sensitive or or air sensitive more sorry moisture sensitive then you add silica to it okay and like the name suggests silica gel it is not actually a gel it is actually Uh, a solid solid material right so do not confuse yourself that it is it is liquid or it's it's gel gel like structure it's not gel like it's it's a it's a perfect solid now uh this is about its application in food industry and for absorbing humidity but what about in chemistry laboratories how is it useful in chemistry laboratories now i was introduced to this silica gel in my masters when i was working in my laboratory and thankfully my guide had ordered silica gel and now what does the silica gel do is and unfortunately i have not seen the silica gel being used in many laboratories so we have a round bottle flask okay on that we have a reflex reflux condenser okay so there is a reflux condenser and over that we have a thing which is called as a guard tube okay over that we have a thing which is called as a guard tube and in this guard tube we add desiccant which absorbs moisture so for water sensitive reactions or not extremely water sensitive reactions but minutely water sensitive reactions we add drying agent in the guard tube so this drying agent uh, uh, you know when once the air is entering the uh, reaction vessel the air that is entering this reaction vessel it will it will absorb the water or the moisture from that air so that it does not affect the rate of the reaction so that that is what is the role of the guard tube and in the guard tube we add a desiccant that is a drying agent so in most of the laboratories you will see calcium chloride as the desiccant cacl2 it is a white color solid which is used as a desiccant but the silica has great advantages how because the silica first of all has tiny pores and these tiny pores absorb water okay the tiny pores in the silica they absorb water adsorb okay adsorb water adsorption takes place adsorption of water takes place so they adsorb water silica and this adsorption takes place and then so basically the water is removed and this silica is the best known commercial reagent because it can absorb water up to 40% its weight 
it can absorb water up to 40% of its weight and it is the best known commercial desiccant. That is why in the industry, in food industry and all other ma major industries, silica is used as a desiccant over all the other desiccants like calcium chloride, calcium sulfate, you know, sodium, car sodium carbonate, all, all these desi over all these desiccants, silica is used. So I was surprised that in many laboratories it is not used. And, the, and see, the advantage about silica, the best part about it is that I am going to tell you is that it changes color okay so initially when it's dehydrated when when silica is dehydrated it is blue in color okay but once it absorbs moisture it turns into light pink or colorless it turns into light pink or colorless so why is this color changing color change taking place because color change can only take place in compounds like coordination in, in coordination compounds right because in coordination compounds uh, you know they if, if we change the ligand then you know the color of the compound also changes so for silica it does not make sense that why is it changing color from blue to light pink and the reason is that we add a small coordination com compound to the silica which is known as cobalt chloride cobalt chloride we add to this silica small amounts of cobalt chl chloride so what does this cobalt chloride do is, this cobalt chloride is actually responsible for the color. In dehydrated form, this cobalt chloride, this basically this cobalt chloride is blue in color. But as this cobalt chloride absorbs water, it changes into COCl2.6H2O. That is the hydrated form. And this hydrated form is actually light pink in color. So this color change in silica is actually responsible because we are adding cobalt chloride. So here we are using coordination principles of coordination chemistry to actually make a very useful desiccant. So from color itself, you can know whether uh, you know it has absorbed to uh, absorbed the water to full to full capacity or not. If so if if it has absorbed water to the full capacity, then you can change the desiccant. For calcium chloride, there is no way to know that you know all the water is absorbed or not or whether this desiccant is useful or not but for silica you can make out by the color change as soon as, as, soon as it starts to lose the blue color and starts to turn colorless or pink you know that yes it has absorbed to, to its full capacity and you need to change the, change the desiccant now another, another important principle of chemistry where, where we are using here is this adsorption that takes place in silica is, is, phys, phys, uh, is uh, physiosorption Okay, it's physiosorption, not chemiosorption, physiosorption. That is no chemical reaction is taking place. The water is being held by the silica with the help of van der Waal forces. Now what that does is, once the silica is used and that it becomes colorless, you just keep it in, keep it in oven for some time, microwave or oven, whatever you like to call it. You keep it in what microwave or oven, oven for some time, for about an hour, and the silica will be regenerated back to the blue color and you can reuse it. So the, these are the two principles. So chem in chemist option, if chemist option takes place, there's a formation of chem there's a chemical reaction taking place. But because there's a physio physio option taking place, that is weak uh, van der Waal interactions are taking place between the silica and the water molecules. Because of this, what what you can do is do is you can easily lose the water molecules by just heating it in an oven. So once you heat it in the oven, it changes from colorless to blue because this cobalt chloride dot six H two converts back to COCl two on heating. So it convert the color of silica returns back to the blue color. Then you can again reuse this silica. So this is two important applications, two uh, two important principles of chemistry that is chemical option and physical option, and one application of coordination chemistry is being used to uh, to make a very very useful uh, compound which can be used in the laboratories. So if your laboratory still uses calcium chloride, which I'm quite sure they are using i would i would request you to go and tell your guide that please switch to this silica gel and it is very cheap available commercially you can you can find it all right online on sigma average or many other uh, you know uh, many other uh, selling selling agents so you can find over there and then you can order this silica gel so it will be very very useful right so I hope you like this new episode of Free Agent Blues and please give it a big thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. Thank you.